Hi, everyone. This is Abhi Sheikh, your host from ShakeTheCosmos.com. Just want to say that Shake the Cosmos is a global community and a platform where you will hear inspirational stories from entrepreneurs and average Joes, people just like yourself who have overcome hardship to achieve their dreams. And these stories are guaranteed to inspire you to take action, to take the next step, to take the leap of faith towards achieving what matters to you and achieving your greater mission in life. So don't miss out on the future episodes. Hit that subscribe or follow button, please, please. And give this episode a rating. That'll help me out on the organic search results. Thank you so much. Hi there, this is Abhishek from ShakeTheCosmos.com. Thanks so much for tuning in. And if it's your first time, please hit the follow or subscribe button. I'm really excited about today's episode because I'm gonna tell you how I feel. I feel that I'm literally, literally living my dream life right now. I tell people, hey, the difference between daydreaming and the reality, the gap in between the two for me has really reduced to nothing. And how did I get here? Do you also feel that way? Well, leave that in the comments below, or if you're listening, send me a message through DM on Instagram, shake the cosmos. And again, please give this episode a rating that helps me out in the organic search results. If you're on iTunes, you just hit the rating button and you're able to give it stars. So how am I literally living my dream life? Well, just a few days ago, just last week, or just, you know, whenever, it was my birthday. And I was surrounded by amazing, amazing people. A girlfriend, a really good friend, another really good friend, and also all these events were being planned for me. I had barely had to do something, nothing. I barely had to do anything. You know, there was skydiving being planned, there was rock climbing, I was given a private cabana, and all this stuff was happening here in Abu Dhabi, Middle East. And I'm just like blown away by this amazingness that's happening around my birthday. And I'm like, wow, I'm literally living my dream life. Like literally, my girlfriend spent almost 13 hours making a cake. <clears throat> like, you know, I, my reaction was like, oh my God, so how did I get here and how did I design a life where I just felt really, really supported and really, really loved? And for me, let's just go one year back. One year back, I was in San Diego. I owned a house by the beach. I used to have really, I mean, I even hired a designer at one point to decorate the home. I used to have get together in that house. I used to have a bunch of furniture and really cool things and yoga stuff and things, community. I felt like I, there was a community I was part of. And fast track, I've sold the home. I you know, have no more belongings really. And it's, it's, it's like crazy because literally I tell people I have 30 things I could put them in a checklist and that's all I have now. So how did I get here and what really helped me get there? And if you're thinking right now, you know, start to think, like, what is your dream life look like? And I think part of it is, I think I've learned two or three key things that I want to share with you. And maybe that help you or maybe that don't. But for me, I think the number one thing, the number one thing that helped me get here is my support systems. Honestly, even when I just moved, like sold my stuff in San Diego and donated most of my things, I reached out to a friend of mine and you know, I let him know like, hey man, it's a really weird feeling that I no longer have a home, that I no longer pay rent. And he was like, well, if you ever need a home, you have mine. And that kind of stuff, you know, the friends just looking after you and true friends just saying that is so meaningful. It just made me even more powerful. And what are the support systems? I mean, I think about support system, the shake the cosmos way, which is you think about water, water being the most, most, most powerful one of the forces. So who's around us that's like water that could mentor us and that could be flexible? So do I have people in my life that are like that? What about like the sun? 
Um, are there people in my life that are bold and strong? Are they inspiring me to do that? So like, for example, I used to have, you know, I had a work meeting one time and I have a bold, my son mentor was like, oh, make sure to keep the emotions out of this meeting. And that was good advice. And that helped me out quite a bit. So that's like water. Who's your water? Who's your son? And then going on, let's see, who's your, like, what else we got here in the nature? We got sun, we got water, we got rain. Who's like the person that just brings it down, just pouring down on, on you know, just speed, uh, the, all these things. What is that? Who is that for you? And maybe, maybe you don't have some of these mentors and support systems in your life. And maybe it's time to build that up. Then there's the wind. You know, I think about what are the people in my life who are just fast, who are just, um, you know, will just go through things, who, you know, it's a connectors. Wind is a connector. So who are my connectors? So for example, I came to Abu Dhabi and I barely knew anybody. And I met a person called Pilar. And she's been a huge connector for me. And I'm, you know, if people tell me, oh, you've been in Abu Dhabi for only two months. It feels like you know or have done things that people haven't done for like who've lived here for like two to five years. So again, a connector, having a connector. So who's your bold person? Who's your connector? Who's your flexible? Who are some of these individuals in my life? And I really, really, people tell me that I have a lot of mentors in my life. Like I just signed up for a leadership coach. And that is something I will benefit from. And so that's, I think that was key, having a support system before taking a plunge or before creating a design to my quote unquote dream life was just really, really helpful. So number one, you know, of course, visualize your dream life, but then number one is really have a support system because your friends and your family and your people that you love you if they're not there for you, well, they might not be your friends, but the real friends will come out of the woodwork and really help you out. And the number two thing is the down things. The, what do I mean by that? The things that, you know, didn't go so well last year. So, you know, somebody asked me just recently, my leadership coach actually was, I was like, so what are some downs last year? And I tend to be super optimistic. I barely think about that stuff. So it was good to know, like, Okay, well, I, my company did restructuring. I, I was no longer employed full time. That was a big down for me. I was doing Shake the Cosmos. I was supposed to do workshops with like over 100 people in a big, amazing venue in downtown San Diego near North Park, San Diego. And that couldn't happen because of COVID. That was another down for me. At the same time, you know, if you know a little bit about me, you know, I grew up in India. I moved from India to US. And I realized that, you know, I've seen a lot of hardship. And whenever I'm saved, same, you know, faced with an obstacle, I compare it to my experience in India and how the experience it was as an immigrant in the country. And to me, then at that point, the obstacle doesn't feel as bad anymore. So in some ways, you know, as I think about it, think out loud a little bit here, my hardships, the downs that I felt almost felt like you know, there were bumps in the road. At the same time, they opened up new doors and new windows and new opportunities. So, you know, what are some downs that you might have had this year? And or maybe you are still down in or experiencing some of these because it's hard, hard when you're, you know, down to actually think about what is ahead. And I think something that one of my friends recently told me is like, you know, I was telling him, you know, one door closes, another opens. He was like, you know what? One door open, one door closes, sometimes the window freaking opens. So, I mean, think about that. So what are some doors and windows and God knows what our tunnels available to you? So that's a number two. So number one, you know, if you've got a plan, you've got a dream. Number one is support systems, having that support system. Number two is really, really, really important as well, which is just, you know, looking at the downs and then just comparing to your own framework of fighting, fighting, surviving. Oh man. And the number three, number three is just believing in yourself. And how does that happen? I think it happens with action, like taking action, taking action when that matters. So for example, I think, 
you know, the world is abundant, the resources will show up for you when you take action. So for example, you know, I'm thinking about the uh, potential to move out of the country, to start traveling full time, and then there appears my friend Julio. And he's like, hey man, I'm looking for a place to rent. And I'm like, um, you can live in my apartment in San Diego. The next thing you know, it's rented to him. And then he starts to help me with some of my storage needs. He's, he helps me pack my stuff. He helps coordinate uh, the move to the storage and all this stuff happening. And I'm taking action. I'm taking decisions. And I'm not just like holding back. And then next thing you know, you know, I am in charge of in UAE and my uncles are like, well, how come you're paying like 70 bucks per month on your storage? How come, you know, don't you don't just sell it? And I'm like, wow, I should do that. So next thing you know, Julio is helping me donate and sell some of this stuff. And, you know, just angels appear in your life when you take action. So again, what did I say? Support systems. You're taking action. And then really, really noticing the bumps in the road, not just the upsides. And that is what, why, and I think, you know, how I got here. And I think, you know, throughout all this stuff, what I've realized is I've removed a lot of anchors in my life and it, it you know, created a lot of space. And some people might say almost like created space for unconditional love. You know, I used to say people like, I want to be in a place where people come and go in my life. They feel loved, but I don't feel a void. And I think part of that comes from, you know, I love myself. I feel supported. Um, just by myself and I'm comfortable in my own skin and it took time to get there and I think that's important and that's my takeaway you know I think taking away some anchors taking away things some things from my life created space for new things new experiencing new adventures so what are some things you know that are you know maybe not even toxic just like an old shirt old underwear old earring whatever it is why don't you this week look at maybe letting it go and just see what happens. I think magical things can happen. Um, so without further ado, just want to share that with you. And you know, the question I have for you is what is, what is a life that looks for you? Um, that is like the dream life. What is that for you? Why don't you just take an opportunity to write that journal that take two to three minutes, just write that out for yourself. And, you know, I've done that before and it's powerful and it's powerful practice. All right. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of the day, day, night, whatever you are. Thank you. As many of you know, I've been doing a lot more traveling lately. And while I've loved meeting new people, sharing experiences and sharing stories, one thing I definitely don't like sharing is germs. That's why I always bring my Wind Plus with me wherever I go. It's a portable air purifier that can filter out airborne respiratory droplets, helping me feel safe while on the go, on the plane, to the office, or in the car. In addition to viral respiratory droplets, it can also remove smoke, smog, pollen, dust, and other particles, making it perfect for anyone who cares about their air quality. And honestly, that's pretty much all of us nowadays, right? If you're interested, Ray, the CEO of Wind, and a recent guest on the show was kind enough to provide us an exclusive deal. Simply use code COSMOS on their website to get $30 off any Wind device that includes not only their portable air purifiers, but also their new Wind Max air purifier for the home and Wind Halo air quality sensor. So go to www.hellowind.com, that is H-E-L-L-O-W-Y-N-D dot C-O-M, that's wind with a Y, pick up a new air purifier and use code COSMOS to get $30 off.